these cats are very oblivious to me, probably because they have a giant spike on their forehead and may be suffering from some form of brain damage. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flint's Plays, and today we're checking out Kittens of Fear. It's an indie horror game available over on Steam. I'll have a link in the description box down below. And I want to give a quick shout out to the developer for giving me access to this game. Uh, there are six, possibly seven levels we can check out. We'll go to the forest because it's the first one, of course. And yes, I need to collect 26 treasures, it seems. So you did read that correctly. This game is called Kittens of Fear. And I can steal cheese. Great. So this is a dark orb. It can either be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm hearing a lot of noises. So I'm going to go with probably not a group. I'm looking for a kitten. Oh. Okay. Uh, I just... I just won the game. Great. <laughs> Let me replay that, because I don't think I was supposed to be able to do it that quickly. <laughs> Let's do quick play again. Forest. It says 29. So there's 29 items available I could pick up. I managed to leave with just one. Which seems rather weird. But we can pick up all these little items and big items. Personally, I do figure that, find that one of my best treasures is my giant knight uh knight chest piece i think i want to keep looking for things so one thing that's kind of cool about this though if i can find one of the kittens is that you can only see them oh no you can see them all the time there's one kitten that you can only see when you have a flashlight on but i guess oh, that's a rock that's not a kitten all right well this is a great start to a video where i accidentally beat the game and then managed to not get my inf information correct because I did the tutorial, which is a shock because normally I don't do tutorials, but I figured eh, I want to go into this game knowing what I'm doing. There you go. Okay. So that kitten, that kitten poofed away. That kitten has an issue with its forehead. Okay. We can just, we can just walk right on by that. I think that seems fine. Mm, where did all those doors go? Oh, hello. Yeah, what's up with the cats having gigantic unicorn heads? Can I can we talk about that? I wanna I kinda wanna talk about that. Ooh, small loot. Got a little stone cat statue. And um a Oh, this power up. Okay. I was like, wait, I don't know what I just got. If you can't see in the bottom hand corner, this is a beta because this is still an early access. Which it seems like every game nowadays is early access. I'm I'm sure we can sleep now. It's fine. This is this is good. So I got 75% loot. Much better score. So let's check out classic mode. You know what he has done. Vengeance is yours. Go forth and plunder until there is none. Did he just throw a lightsaber at me? So one thing I do have to say about this game that I'm not very happy of is it does not capture mouse. Which, I mean, you'd figure a game on Steam would definitely capture mouse. I don't know if that was an upgrade or downgrade or whatever. Oh, I almost walked into two cats. Okay, let's not go that way then. Because it, it appears there are be kittens there. I'm trying to see... Okay, this is a power-up. This, this is a power... I thought this was a power-up. But it's just a giant orb thing. Okay. The tutorial did not prepare me at all for this because some of the stuff it apparently told me is wrong. And there's nothing there. I really have to stick to the path, apparently. The game is not like me deviating from it. Okay. I'm very confused about why these kittens have unicorn horns. It's very weird. I don't understand it. Also, why are the kittens not attacking me? The tutorial that the one cat just charged after me. I'm figuring maybe classic mode would be the uh, the more OG version where things would be more likely to happen, but it seems like that is not the case. It seems like these cats are very oblivious to me, probably because they have a giant spike on their forehead and may be suffering from some form of brain damage, possibly. Yeah, they don't care. God, geez. okay, these cats are kind of weird. Uh, I found a door. I could go through, and I think I am going to go through because, oh. Are you? Yes, okay, so yeah, you 
are going to chase after me. So I'm going to go through the door. So we actually did get chased by a kid. That's good. Go to the next stage. Check this out. Okay, that's neat. Thanks, cat, for showing up there. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like a teleportation thing. Oh, no. Okay. I died. I actually got killed. By a kid. Okay, great. Let's go back to classic mode. We can just skip that. That whole talking thing. Nobody needs to talk nowadays. We ain't got no time for that. Alright, I'm just gonna grab one loot and book it to the door. Because I want to see more levels. I mean, I could just go to quick play and just jump to all the other levels, but... Let's try to do this the, the, the correct way. That's... Okay, I still don't understand what that what's up with that orb. Whatever. We'll go to the next stage. This is $3 on Steam. I just want to say that. I'm fine with people charging money for games, but at least make it somewhat enjoyable. All right, we got we got a treasure going through the door. Going to the next stage. Perfect. I am like the best thief ever. Taking another night. Oh, no, that's not good. See, that's... Oh. I saw a kitty. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm very slow now. There's also haste mode, which is if you hit, hit uh, R, you loot faster. See? There you go. Oh, don't want to grab that. I'm just expecting a kitten to be around the corner for me. Oh, there you go. Door. Got it. All right. That's good. I got 41.7% of the loot. Let's check this out. Where are we at now? I don't know what level this is supposed to be. It looks like a cave, so it's probably called cave. Oh, God. The draw distance. Oh, the draw distance. I'm going to sneak right by that cat. Um. Look, if I find the door, I'm just out of here. Not that, not going near that cat. Uh, okay, guess I am going to have to go near that cat because I really don't want to deal with the teleporters. Because I don't know where they're going to lead me to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going backwards. That cat is like my anchor. That cat tells me that I've been there before. There is nothing here. That's not good. That is not a good start. Oh, okay. Guess, oh, nope. We're going to the teleporter. Going to the teleporter. Go, go, go. I don't think the cats can teleport with that. At least I hope not. If they can, I'm screwed. There you go. Door. Out of here. Don't care. Oh, I must have at least one item to leave. Cool. I need to find an item. Found the door. Where? It's a cave. What is there to loot in a cave? Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do it. Don't do it, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah, uh, there's an orb. I don't really care about the orbs, though. What if I go this way? I think this is just a giant circle. Seems like this is just a giant circle. Pretty sure it's a giant circle. I didn't find any loot. Not a great sign. Not a great start. I also don't know where I am, and I'm pretty certain that I've... Okay, I thought I heard something. There's another door. How many doors are there? Uh, uh oh, I heard kitty kitty. Nope. Don't do it. Oh, I found cheese. I found cheese. I found cheese and I found the door. There you go. Out. Door's over this way. Door. There you go. Door, 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 door. I got cheese and I got a door. I mean, what else more do you need in life? Cheese and the door. You're good. Go to the next stage. That's four. Got one more. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we got red fog and some god awful sound. All right. Go ahead and grab that quickly. I don't know what's up with this area, but okay. Let's go ahead and get the great treasure chest. 
Do I, can I get the candles? No, I can't. Why would I want to steal candles? I want to steal knights and cheese. Obviously. No, oh, no, kitty, kitty, no. Kitty, kitty, no. Is it following me? I don't think it's following me. All right, we'll grab that chest. So one of my biggest annoyances about this game, though, was that the fact that it does not capture mouse, which seems absurd to me that a game in 2020 being sold on Steam does not capture mouse at all. Okay, I think I just triggered that thing, but I think I'm fine. I don't see a kitty kit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. There's a kitty. Oh, I almost walked right into that. I don't know why some of them seem to be aggressive and others don't. All right, cat statue, I haven't grabbed that yet, so. Oh, there you go, door. Got it, nice, okay. So, stage six, go to final stage. I like the sound of that. Don't like the sound of that. No, no, no. Okay, there's a th blue orb. I don't know what I'm looking for, though. I don't see any items. Okay, just gonna take this teleporter and hope it doesn't drop me into death. Let's take a look. I'm very fast, I just not realized. I'm able to cover a great distance, which really doesn't help too much if I can't find items. This is, this is definitely like a hell, like the level called hell. Oh, okay. All right, I can, I'm hearing I'm hearing a jam. I can I can get behind this now. I found torches. I had to find a door. I have one treasure. Okay, that that sound was really weird. I gotta find. Okay, take this whole hoarder. See what we can find. What's over here? What's behind door number? Go away! Okay, got that. Got this. Oh, there you go. Door. Yes! Freedom! Wow. So, achievement unlocked Classical Thief. Achievement unlocked 50k. Achievement unlocked Quartermaster. And, uh, I got a little top hat and a fancy little mustache. So, we get to go to the credits now. Alright, so while the credits roll, Let's talk about the game a little bit. Okay, or the credits can just... That was weird. Okay. Alright. So... Dev. Okay. So, I think I actually unlocked the dev room by beating the game. Oh, God. Jesus. Cat. Freaking... Oh, no. That's not good. Can the cats go through doors? No, they can't. You know what? Honestly, it would have been a lot better to learn that, like when I was actually playing the game and not just messing with the dev room. That probably would have been a great idea. So what do we have here? Take this loop. So... Anyway, let's talk about the game a little bit, shall we? Uh, it's very weird. Very simplistic, very... Honestly, I kind of figured this was going to be like... Um... What should I call it? Uh, la, 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 the, the name of the game, Dark Deception. When I first saw it. And then actually playing it, it's even weirder somehow. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just collecting everything I can, basically. There you go. I'm even getting the bad stuff. The bad heebie-jeebies. Because I was like, oh yeah, it's like collect-a-thon, basically. While well, cats probably chase you. No big deal. I could probably play that game in my sleep. And now, um, after having actually played it, I can see it using some work. It is an early access, so I can't really say too much about it, I feel. I can't be like, oh yeah, this game's terrible, because early access is basically a free pass for developers to be able to say, hey, look, this is the game we're working on. You can get it now. Okay. Oh, I got killed finally by a uh, sleeping cat. So yeah, two enemy types, very generic looking levels to be completely honest. With some more development time behind it, I could see that it being a lot of fun. I mean, like I said, it's very similar to Dark Deception. You're trying to collect things and find the exit. Um, 
but it kind of doesn't really it doesn't pull me honestly and i thought a game called Kit, called kittens of fear which one inspires the idea of kittens and then also inspires the idea of layers of fear which probably isn't what the developer intended but you, if you're going to say something's of fear i immediately think layers of fear because it's one of my favorite games of all time so let me know what you thought about this game because honestly i don't know what i think to be completely honest but let me know what you thought about this game in the comments down below give me a thumbs up i really do appreciate that and also make sure you're subscribed so you get updates for any new content or go live while live streaming and as always have a great day remember to burn bright i'll talk to you later bye thank you for watching i just want to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters listed down below philip a chapman brad stewart and if you want to see your name on the list, there'll be links to my Patreon down in the description box, as well as links to my Twitter, Discord, and other socials. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Remember to burn blade.